Welcome back here and joining us on set, some members of the Kaleida girls basketball team. Happy to have you guys, head coach uh, Adam Huber. And ladies, why don't you introduce yourselves to everybody? I'm Lauren Langhouse. I'm a senior at Kaleida. I'm Haley Kaufman. I'm also a senior at Kaleida. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for being no here. Problem. Thanks um, for having us. First thing, you know, this has really nothing to do with basketball, at least for, for girls basketball, but you're also the athletic director at Kaleida. Yes. You know, with the weather and everything that's happening, uh, we've had your Kaleida boys game, which we'll have highlights of later on in the show, uh, got moved from Saturday to tonight against Columbus Grove. So what is the process that goes into moving a basketball game? How, what do you have to do in order to make that happen and make it successful? Well, first off, you kind of get together with the other school. Uh, in this case, since it was Columbus Grove's home game, they got a hold of me on Monday or Tuesday, said, hey, with the, you know, the weather forecast, for Saturday, would you guys were both open Friday, would you be interested in moving to Friday? You know, it's a two-way street, both teams have to agree to it, and there's a lot of moving parts. You know, in this case, it's a Friday night in the middle of basketball season, so it's hard to get officials. So uh, we get a hold of our league assigner in this case, uh, who assigns our officials, and they had to try to find some for us, and fortunately they were able to find a good crew, and everything worked out, and we were able to move it. So, but yeah, there's, there's a lot that goes into it. Obviously, in this case, we kind of knew the weather forecast a few days ahead, so it helped out in that case. I guess it helps when, you know, when they are forecasting and there's a big snowstorm is coming. It is good that you uh, can get on the same page with, with another school and, and have it all work out, particularly the official thing, because that can be kind of difficult just to find officials in general, let alone yeah. at the last minute. Yeah, especially when it's a Friday night, you, know, you expect there's a lot of games already scheduled. And, and this was a, a rare one that we both had off. You know, we have off a couple of Fridays because of our, you know, the league with some teams being in two leagues. and. But Grove to have this Friday off helped us out. So it, it worked out and we're all done and hopefully we get the snow so we don't look like we did it for no reason. But we get tomorrow night off then instead. Without a doubt. And you know, it happens so many times where you have games that move, uh, even just with your regular schedule, you have mostly Thursday night games, but it moves around. You have games kind of all over the place. Do you ever find it hard to establish a consistent rhythm of of practice and, and game prep and kind of getting all that stuff ready or are uh, the ladies able to roll with it? Uh, for us, no, it, it, ours has pretty much been this way for a long time. So we're pretty used to the way our schedule is. Yeah, same thing with our league. We don't have a league night in the PCL uh, for girls. So we're, we play two or three of them on Saturdays. We play a Tuesday night league game. We got a couple of Thursday night league games, but they're all spaced out and we're pretty much set it's a Saturday, Thursday for us, or Saturday, Tuesday, or Tuesday, Saturday, whatever it is. And it's, you know, we're, we're pretty used to our schedule, I guess, the way it is. Now, turning to you ladies, you guys, you're seniors now, been around the, the program for quite a bit. So um, just talk about how you feel like you two have developed as far as your basketball skill in terms of your leadership through the years that you've been a part of the team and now that you're seniors. I'll start with you, Lauren, go ahead. It's crazy that I'm a senior already, that's for sure. And I mean, I played JV mostly my freshman year and sophomore, junior year were big for me because I had to step up and be a leader on the team. And this year was also big for me too, being a senior. And us girls have really gelled together this year, so that's good. How do you think you've uh, stepped up? Talk a little bit more about that. How, how have you stepped up this season in comparison to just say last season? Well, there's a lot of younger girls on the team that haven't played much, so just being a leader and helping out at practice and being a leader in the, on the court. Kind of address the same question to you, Haley. So where do you see that you've kind of developed either in leadership or maybe just in basketball skill from, say, last season to this season? Um, I'd say I've really developed more offensively because I was mainly a defensive player last year, and the coaches have really helped me to shoot a lot more sometimes because I usually just pass to get the assist. <laughs> but as a leader, I think I really help the girls like feel welcome and keep like keep them involved because we just had an in injury and I encourage her to come to all the practices still and still come after her surgery. Coach, how important is it to see your seniors kind of stepping up and leading the way and kind of showing the younger kids this is, this is what Kaleida basketball is all about. Well, every year it, uh, you kind of rely on your seniors to, to lead the way, and it makes a heck of a lot easier when they're, they're doing that for you. You kind of take some things for granted, I guess. You don't have to, the little things they take care of at practice and games and pregame and stuff that, you know, it's, it's a nice advantage to have. It makes my job a little bit easier. I can focus on some of the other things. So, yeah, and these two have, have done a great job. They talked about 
you know, their freshman year they were on JV and their sophomore years we had a lot of injuries that year and they were kind of thrust into varsity action then so, but it, it's helped them now down the road here that seniors, they played a lot of minutes on the basketball floor. So yeah, like I said, just doing all the little things for us really helps us out. You know, overall as a team, just kind of looking at your stats, um, while you guys are being outscored in the first quarter, you guys come back with a vengeance <laughs> in the fourth quarter, all, you almost making up that entire deficit. Um, how do you, because that'd be kind of hard to do if you find yourself kind of consistently in a deficit in the first quarter, you're kind of spending the last three quarters calling back. That can take a lot of energy. How do you, or how are you able to consistently do that? I guess I'll start with you, coach, and, the, and then I'll ask the well, players how they do it. Uh, you know, that, it's funny about, I don't know, after one of our recent games here, we said we just feel like we're never out of the game. You know, we've shown we've been down and come back. I think we're down, I don't know, eight, nine, ten, nothing against Grove to start the game. And, you know, we just, we just kind of feel like, we're never going to quit. Now, having said that, we talk about better starts all the time and hopefully getting off to them because it sure makes it a lot harder playing catch up. But I don't know there's just something about them. They just keep coming and coming. And I think that's the kind of kids we have at Kaleida. So I'll, I'll start with you and then I'll go to you. So, okay, so you're in the huddle and you're down <laughs> eight, nine, ten points, whatever it is, okay? So what are you saying into the huddle? That is repeatable on television <laughs> if, if it goes to that point. Um, you want to ask, I'll ask you. Just for the girls to stay focused and keep going at it and not to give up and finish the game. Yeah. Haley? Um, um, I usually try to give them all high fives, tell them we can do it, finish the game out, and just let's go. <laughs> <laughs> That's very good. Very good. You guys are 10 and 5 overall, off to a, a terrific start over to the midway point, through the, over to the halfway point of the season. Um, what are you most looking forward to as you guys progress in your season? Well, I, I know it's pretty cliche, but we just talk about winning the day, whether it's practice or the next game. We try not to look too far ahead, um, kind of because we know our margin of error when you fall down. It, we we got to play pretty well to win our games, but uh, if we just stay kind of in the moment, that's all I'm looking for as a coach. I, I mean, I know I look at the bigger picture a little bit as we scout ahead and get ready for some teams, but just try to stay focused on what we're doing that day so we don't you know, get too far ahead of ourselves. I'll ask Haley, then Lauren, kind of the same question. So what are you most excited about heading into the last portion of your schedule? Um, or the season in general? You can go there if you want. Probably like getting us more prepared for tournament and hopefully our goal, or my main goal is to hopefully at least win our league and have a good tournament run. So, Lauren? Yeah, I'm most excited for the PCL games and tournament too. Terrific. It's been members of the Kaleida girls basketball team. Guys, thank you so much for joining us. We're going to send it back to Frank at the desk.